You ask me what I'm sipping on And what am I dreaming Welcome to Max's Cognac Review Today I'll be doing a short video to talk about the importance of the different kinds of glasses to use when you're enjoying your cognac or scotch and the importance of them. I have a few different ones here. This is a basic bar glass that you get when you're out drinking. This is a neat glass. It was invented by an engineer and it helps the alcohol roll off the sides of the glass while still letting you get um, all the smells and aromas of the spirit. This is a Glen Carn. This glass won awards for its shape and design. It is patented. It is a beautiful glass and it really, really helps you get the aromas of the spirit and the nose. This is an amazing glass. Final glass here is your typical Snifter Cognac glass and um, probably most commonly associated with Cognac. So the first one here the uh, bar glass, though it's convenient and uh, very commonly used, you don't get the best nose and experience from a bar glass. But when you dig in, although you do get a lot of the aromas, it's perfectly fine. You do get a lot more alcohol and you don't have as much uh, finer nuances as you would in some of these other glasses. For example, uh, this glass does an amazing job the neat glass of separating alcohol from the aromas. So instead of getting spice, instead of having to pull back from the intense alcohol burn, you're able to really dig in and get incredible detailed aromas that you otherwise wouldn't get from this glass. Um, the Glen Carn here and the neat glass are very similar. Uh, this glass as well really does a good job of capturing the aromas. The glass I have here on the right, the sifter, that most people do drink with cognac is actually not that great at all for cognac. I enjoy drinking cognac out of a snifter when I'm, you know, maybe partying or relaxing and I'm having, you know, a cognac just to maybe have a drink. But you, you can't really get the true essence of a cognac in a snifter. The snifter kind of balloons the alcohol and throws it in your face. It's probably one of the worst glasses you can use to actually smell and appreciate the aromas. So although I really love the way it looks and it is a beautiful glass, it's kind of um, my last choice when it comes to really enjoying a nice bottle or a nice, you know, a nice drink that I really want to savor and enjoy. So that being said, um, although these two glasses are definitely very common and well used, I really recommend you go out and seek uh, the Glen Carn. It's probably the most widely available in this neat glass here. Uh, this neat glass here was actually invented on accident. I was um, at a whiskey tasting event and I met the guy who invented the glass. So uh, originally it was at a few stores, he had it at Total Wine and More, and apparently uh, nobody could open the package. So Total Wine and More had to discontinue his product. Um, he had emails from people saying that uh, one gentleman said his son was coming over with a chainsaw to try to get the package open. So I guess the, the gentleman was an engineer and he had made the package so strong that you could kick it across a football field and it wouldn't break. So needless to say, he's re-engineered his package. It is difficult to find, but this neat glass here is truly amazing. And although it might look kind of odd and silly, it, it really helps you capture all the aromas, all the intensities, nuances of the spirit um, in, in a much better, much easier way than these two would. Glen Carn again, all-time favorite, very similar. Um, you know, beautiful shape, beautiful glass. Can't say enough good things about it. Definitely, if you have the time, I would, I would go out of your way to try to pick one of these up. Thanks for joining me. Until next time. It's only one thing I'm sipping crisp.